Hey guys, this is April at Georgia Girl Plans. I have another plane with me for you today, and this is going to be my first Erin Condren plane with me for 2020, and it is the week of January 6th through January 12th. This planner did have the um, first um, of January that week in it, but I used that week in my old Erin Condren, and I decided not to double plan that week. So this is the first full week of January and the first week in this planner for me. So I'm really hoping this plane with me isn't too much of a hot mess, but this will be my first layout in this spread. Um, I've watched quite a few videos of people using the new layout, so I feel like I've got a feel for it, so we shall see. So I am using this kit from Scribble Prints Co. It is the October Mystery, and it was like a winter New York theme. I'm not going to be in New York this week, nor is it snowing here in Georgia, but this is just an adorable kit, and I thought it was perfect for January um, with all the winter vibes, even though it's not my specific winter vibes. So these are the full boxes. Also, I get the Ultimate Mystery Kit. So full boxes, ombre heart checklist, which I won't be using these. Um, labels and half boxes, all your functional items, more boxes, extra full box, icons, and check boxes, fancy labels, uh, solid washi strips, and little things, um, more labels, fan uh, pattern washi, and headers, and then some deco, some more functional items in the weekend banner, and then extra um, full box bottom washi and date covers. I think this bottom washi is cute, um, but it might be a little much. I don't know. I haven't decided yet if I'm going to break this up or not. Oh, and it also did come with these fashion girls. Um, I'm sure a lot of people have said but the faces on these fashion girls are a little odd, so I don't know if I'll be using them. If any, I might use this brunette girl, but there's so much in the kit, I probably just will forego those. Um, also, you get a ton of freebies with the Ultimate subscription, so I have a ton to work with. I've got the Munchkin freebie. Um, I might use this bottom washi strip to break up that cloud bottom washi. Glitter headers, label sampler, and then it came with all of this like glitter hollow foil. So, I'm going to use this, but I'm also going to pull in regular hollow as well because um, honestly, this would probably be enough, but um, a few things I have I'll use in hollow. So I think for the bottom washi, which is where I'm going to get started, I am going to go by what I've seen um, Sherry of Planning Peep do. She whites out the hexagons here and then also whites out. I'm going to start with that. I think she might white out like the sidelines as well. But I'm going to start just with whiting out those hexagons and then I think just do the bottom washi there at the bottom. So let's see how that goes. I normally speed you through this, but since it's my first time in this planner, I kind of want to figure it out with you. So I'm going to try and use the washi strips to break it up. So... You can kind of see those lines through it. Yeah. yeah. I'm gonna white out those lines. It's You can definitely see it. So this takes up two rows. There we go. All right. So then with the bottom washi that is with the kit, I will, let's see if I need to white out these lines down here. I don't think they're as bad with the clouds. Yeah, I'm going to leave those. You can definitely see them, but we're going to leave that. So, let's see. I could go by the line that it already has here, but I think I want it to go a little bit lower. So, let's just use the ruler here, and let's hope that I do not cut through my very first page. That has been my problem, is pressing too firmly and cutting through the paper. Alright, I didn't cut through the paper. So, let's see. I think that looks pretty good. So, I am also going to use the bottom washi overlay that's kind of like the glitter. Um, I did go ahead and white out this side, so let's do the same thing with the bottom washi here. All right, and then here, 
I'm going to go ahead and use the leftover um, strip from the other half. And then, and then what I'm going to do is just let that go all the way across. And then the extra little piece from the 15, 15 millimeter washi strip, I'm going to do that. And then I'm just going to trim off that little bit in the middle. Um, kind of seems like a lot of work. Um, definitely more white out than I am used to using. So, finished off that strip. Let's do our other overlay. I think that's really pretty in the clouds. I don't know if I'll ever use the bows. I may pass those on. There we go. I think that is really pretty. I'm kind of... I don't know. I don't want to say regretting having the purple at the top, but a little bit. We're just going to go with it. If I feel like I need to change it, I'll do that later. So, um, one thing that I do know that I'm going to do, and maybe that'll, I'm going to go ahead and do it now. I normally wouldn't do it till later, but I want to see if it changes my perception. I'm going to use the foiled weekend banner. And I don't know if this is the one. She did reformat her kits at one point where this foiled weekend banner fit over her weekend banner. And I don't know if this is it or not. So let's just see. It seems smaller. Yeah, it's definitely smaller than that one. I'll save that one because it's white and it's pretty neutral. I'm going to do this one right here. And I think what I'm going to do is just put like some snowflake overlays in this um, purple. That will be perfect. That will save it for me. Okay. So we got bottom washi down. Um, now I'm going to do the date covers. I do love that the dates are smaller now. So they only take one swipe of white out to wipe them out. The date covers in the kit are white. So I will definitely need to white these out. And then I pulled some foiled date dots. Oh, she actually has some. Let's see if I want to use those or the ones I pulled. I pulled some hollow ones from Bodacious Prints. I actually think I'm going to use the hollow ones from Bodacious Prints. So I'm going to go through and get the date covers and date dots down and I'll be back in one minute. All right, so I've got my date covers down. Um, I thought it would be a pretty um, simple process, but I forgot since these have the rounded tops, I couldn't really fit the date covers on top and like make sure they were straight and didn't want to eyeball it. So I did go ahead and put down my glitter headers across the top so that I could line up the date covers with those. So not a big change, but just something that um, is a change. So let's move to the sidebar. There is not a quote box in the kit, so I am going to create one, but I have to decide which box I want to use, because she does give this extra one, and then also one that matches the bottom washi, just the clouds. So, um, I pulled this sheet also from Scribble Prints Co. I believe this came in the advent calendar. I think this one, it says every day is a fresh start. I'm going to do that one. Um, because it's the beginning of the year, it seems appropriate. So, I might actually put it over these sweaters. I think that might be cute. Um, yeah, because I don't want to take away from a box that's too busy. But I think it'll be pretty on that one. Oh yeah, I like that. Okay, so let's see about covering up this horrible hexagon here. Luckily, I think, yeah, I won't have to white it out this time with this box. And I just lined it up at the top of the hexagon. You can kind of see a shadow there, but not enough for me to worry about. And then it also lines up with the date covers. Um, it's so weird not having flags. I'm so sorry if y'all have been watching Plain With Me's in these new planners for six months, but it is new for me, so I still feel like I'm figuring it out. So let's move down the sidebar. Let's get my headers. And then I think I might do, so like this week is purple. 
I think I might do some washi strips. Let's see. Let's do the pink one first. So I'm going to do this washi strip here and then the this week header. Oh goodness gracious. In theory, down the middle. Only if you can lay it down straight though. Much better. Okay, so this is for my habit trackers, which she does include two in her kits, which I love. So we'll do those. And then I pulled some scripts to go in my habit trackers. Either the washi or that purple habit tracker is crooked. I think it's the washi, but we're just going to leave it. So for my habit trackers, I do my no spend and vitamins. This week my no spend script is from Kinsey's Creations. And I need to pick up some more of those. And then my vitamin scripts are a custom script from Nightingale Paper Co. There we go. All right, so then I'm going to do my dinners, which is blue. So let's do maybe a purple piece of washi here. And then dinners. And then let's look at our weekly tracker box options. Let's do the light blue. So we have every color represented in the sidebar so far. There we go. And then, looks like I'm gonna have a little bit extra room, so I might actually mark two more things. Let's see. Um, I'm going to mark how many weeks pregnant I am. Or maybe a fancy label. Let's do that. Do I want a patterned one? Yeah, let's do this here. And then the other thing that I would mark is what I'm currently reading. So let's see if I can do both of these. And I mean, I definitely will be able to do up both of them, but to see if I need a strip of washi in between them or not. I don't think I need a strip of washi, but I need to white out these lines and then I can just center this one. So let's do that right there. Yeah, I could have done a washi, but it's fine. So this one here is um, for how many weeks pregnant I am. I have this custom foiled script from Bodacious Prints so that says weeks pregnant, so I just write the number of weeks above that, and then I pulled the reading label from the kit to mark what I'm currently reading this week. Perfect. Okay, so now, all right, so now for the rest of my glitter headers. So from watching other videos, um, I think what people have found the easiest to do is to put the glitter headers on the bottom and then build off of that. But I don't know if when they do that, they are using this bottom section or not. I'm not sure, but I'm gonna try it out. So I am going to go through and put down my glitter headers, try to figure it out. I might speed you through this so you can kind of see the process and um, fill in my full boxes and I'm just going to um, randomly scatter those. So let's see how it goes. All right, so here are all the glitter headers and full boxes down. I did put some glitter header um, overlays in the Twinkly Hollow. It's so hard to get that hollow on there, um, on the glitter headers. And then I'm gonna pull in these hollow snowflakes. They're also from Scribble Prints Co. As well as the few, a few of the full box overlays that came with the wiggle. Um, so those snowflakes I'm gonna do down here at the bottom. And I think that will add a little something to this washi strip to kind of liven it up. And then a few of these. And then I think I might also sprinkle some of the deco around the top. I don't know, I might say that I kind of like how the top is looking really clean without the flag and everything. So 
excited for the base. Glad I got it down. It was a little bit of trial and error. Oh, I also have these corners as well. I might add to some. So I'll jazz it up a little bit, but I'm really happy with how it is looking so far. And I'll be back in one minute with the first half of the week. All right, so starting on Monday, of course, the first thing I wanna mark is Coffee Monday. So I'm gonna use one of these Andrea Munchkin. She's got a little like iced coffee. So I'm gonna do that right there. And then I'm gonna use a script from Taylor and Tucker that says, but first coffee. So that's definitely how I have to start my Mondays. Perfect, okay. And then of course I got to work. I'm gonna do things a little bit differently this week. Um, the Scribble Prints Co. kits always come with work labels and I don't ever use them because they look to me like you're supposed to like write in your hours. So I'm gonna see how I can incorporate them. So it says work in the label and then it's got a blank space here. So I am going to just put, I might have to move it down a tad, yeah. I'm gonna put, just a character. Um, I'm gonna do paper and milk uh, Maru and just put that in the blank space as like the icon. So let's do let's do the pink. So do we think that's cute? I'm gonna try it out this week, see if I like it. So that is the work label with the Maru. And then on my lunch break, I watched some YouTube. So I am going to use the YouTube play button icon. So I'm gonna do that right there for having a YouTube bench on my lunch break. And then I did some filming. I think I'm actually going to flip filming and talking to my sister um, because I wanna use a flag for filming and I don't think it'll fit right there. I could trim it down, but well, let's see. She has some big ones, but she also has these smaller ones. Yeah, I don't want it to be jammed. So I talked to my sister for a while, so I'm going to use um, one of the foiled icons for that. I might put it on quarter box or a label. Will one of these labels fit? I do love that you have so many choices with the Ultimate kits though. And then I'm gonna do this foiled phone icon right here. So that's for talking to my sister. And then I did some filming, so I'm gonna do a flag here. I normally use the flags for working, but since I'm not this week, I can use them for filming. And then I pulled these hollow um, film scripts from Kinsey's Creations. That is gorgeous. All right, so that is for doing some filming that evening, and then I did some reading. So again, I'm gonna try something a little bit different to mark reading. Um, the Ultimate Kits always come with um, check boxes, um, and I don't ever use them because I don't use this as like a functional planner, it's always after the fact, but I thought it would still be cute to use. Um, I can just check it off, you know, just so I can use them. And then I pulled these read um, collab sheets from Lilac and Paper and Kinsey's Creations. But I like that, and I'll just put a little checkbox there. So that is for doing some reading. And then I worked on my puzzle and watched some Gilmore Girls. So I was going to do a quarter box for that. But I might use one of these boxes. I always forget, oh, that would, no, nope, not one of those this time. But I do want to use them. I always forget about them. So let's just do a, right here, a normal quarter box. Let's do a darker blue, because then I can fit one more thing in the bottom, yes. Okay, so I watched some Gilmore Girls and worked on our puzzle. I've really been enjoying working on puzzles, so I'm going to do a TV icon here. So that's for Gilmore Girls and working on the puzzle. And then my husband and I watched Survivor this night, so I'm gonna do a little thing. Let's do pink for Survivor here at the bottom. Might move up that quarter box just a tad. Yes, okay, that is perfect, okay. So that was for Monday. So moving on to Tuesday. First thing Tuesday morning, I um, 
edited and uploaded a video. So I was going to do a label. Let's see. So many options. Let's do this label here. And then I pulled edit and upload scripts from Kinsey's Creations. And I'm just going to so um, that's for uploading from Kinsey's Creations. So let's pull, let's see, maybe a foiled icon. I'm sure she has like a laptop or something that would work. Oh yeah, let's do the film clapper. So that is for uploading. Perfect, okay. And then we had um, our third um, prenatal appointment. So I'm going to do, so I've got this um, sheet from Nightingale Paper Co. Maybe this color will be better. I mean, honestly, either would work. I think I'm gonna go with the more purple. Um, it says prenatal appointment. We thought it was going to be an ultrasound appointment and we would be able to find out if we were having a boy or girl. But I should not have assumed it was because we got there and it was just a Doppler appointment. So then we were really disappointed. So um, luckily, I mean, the Doppler appointment was great. The baby's heart um, rate was good. We're measuring... Um, good so it was a good appointment but we were disappointed because we thought we would find out the gender so we actually made an ultrasound appointment for the next day at a um, independent uh, ultrasound office that just does like gender I mean they do other things too but we're doing it just for gender so we had a prenatal appointment and then I had to get to work after that so I'm gonna do another work label the downside of how big these sheets are is I lose all the sheets that I need. So I'm going to mark it the same way with the work label and then the Maru. Do the pink one again from Paper and Milk. Getting some work done. Perfect. And then I picked up Chick-fil-A for lunch. So I'm going to do an icon, maybe one of the smaller ones. Yes, let's do this. We're picking up Chick-fil-A for lunch, perfect. And then we took our pups on a walk. So I pulled this dog walking sheet from Once More With Love. So that will be for taking our pups on a walk that um, afternoon and then we went to a UGA basketball game. It was actually a really big game against Kentucky which is one of the better teams in the country so we were really hoping we'd pull out a win um, but we did not. <laughs> it was still fun so I'm gonna do a quarter box for that or one of the squared off boxes and then I've got my custom script from Bodacious Prince and Hollow that says UGA B-Ball. So I'll write who we were playing there. And then this night we just um, did some cooking together so I am gonna do, let's see, let's do a label here and an icon. I think she's got some utensils, yes. So that is going to be for cooking with my husband that night, perfect. Okay, so moving on to Wednesday. First thing Wednesday morning is, of course, more work. So I'm gonna do another one of these little work labels and another Maru here getting some work done. I think I really like that. I think that's cute. And then I picked up some Chinese takeout for lunch, which was delicious. So I pulled this um, takeout box mini sheet from Once More With Love. So I'm going to do that right there for picking up some Chinese takeout. And then we did take our pups on a walk. So I'm going to do, let's see, can I fit one of these? No, not yet. <laughs> I'm gonna fit that. 
at some point in time. Um, but um, we took our pups on a walk and I want to use one of these foiled icons and maybe a label. Let's do this blue label here. And this foiled paw print. We're taking our pups on a walk. And then we um, just relaxed and did some reading. Um, I read, my husband watched some YouTube. So um, there is one, here it is, one little bow clip. So I thought I would just use it for doing some reading. And then the exciting thing. So for this, I am going to do a extender box. And I'm going to, per usual, try and make it as easy as possible. I don't ever do it that well. So let's see how it goes this time. So I went ahead and folded it. And then I am going to do this Andrea Munchkin um, like excited uh, half box because we were so, so, so excited. So I'm gonna do this half box. All right, per usual, that was a struggle. So I got the Andre Munchkin half box on there, um, the extender. So I put that down right there. And then I'm just going to write ultrasound appointment here. And then on the inside, I've got this sheet from Nightingale Paper Co. That's all different um, baby like milestones. So I'm gonna do the gender reveal script here. And then I'm going to do a Heart Eyes Winston in the second half and write what we are having. Um, by the time this goes up, I think we will have announced it. Yes, this will go up on Thursday, so we will definitely have announced it. So we are having a boy, and we are so, so excited. Um, we would have been very happy either way, but I know my husband is relieved that it's a boy, and it's going to be so, so fun to have a little boy. So I will write, it's a boy, right there. I actually thought I had... Um, a script but it just the one that I have says he's here not it's a boy um, but that's okay so I'm just gonna write it in there for gender reveal we will be doing a social media announcement um, I'm recording this on Saturday so I think on Monday we're gonna do a social media announcement so it'll definitely be up huh <sighs> so that was so fun and um, it was just a really great experience. We got a DVD of the ultrasound and pictures and it was so fun. All right, so after that, of course, we had to call all of our family to tell them, um, well, the majority of our family, my dad wants it to be kept a secret from him, which is just uh, going to be so difficult because, I mean, we know, our whole family knows, and he is going to be the only one that does not know, so that's going to be very interesting. So, anyways, I'm using the heart icon um, for just marking, calling all of our family. I'm actually going to move that down a little bit because I don't really need a lot of space down here. All right, so that is going to be for calling our family. And then this night we just watched some more Survivor per usual, so I'm going to do... Another little thing right here for watching Survivor. Perfect, I think that is so cute. So when I post a picture, I'm gonna keep this closed and then when, once I announce it, I'll open it up. I love it, okay. So that is everything for the first half of the week. I'll be back in one minute with the second half. All right, so starting on Thursday, I did some planning and had some coffee. So I'm actually going to pull a piece of this deco from the kit. Put it right here for planning and coffee time. And then I had to get some work done. So actually, no, that's going to be perfect. I'm going to do the little work label here. And then another one of my um, Maru's. We're getting some work done this day and then I did talk to my mother-in-law for a while so I pulled 
um, this sheet from Nightingale Paper Co. I think I'm going to use this pink one. This is actually like a FaceTime Winston, but it was just a regular phone call, but it's going to be fun. So that's for talking to my mother-in-law. And then I started researching boy names, which is so exciting, but also daunting. So I think I'm going to use, let's see, is there a small um, laptop? I think there might be. Oh, yeah, let's do a foiled one and a label. Let's do a little, let's do blue blue label here for researching baby boy names. My husband and I honestly had not even began discussing it because we wanted to wait until we knew what we were having to start discussing names. So that was researching baby names. And then I did upload. So I'm going to do a flag here might trim it down just a tad. Her flags are pretty large. Let's see if I can do it even. Yeah, I think that looks pretty good. So I'm gonna do a flag here. And then another one of my foiled Kinsey's Creations scripts in hollow. So that is for uploading. Perfect. And then I did some reading and took a nap. So for that, I pulled these um, uh, Fox and Pip minis. So I'm going to do this little sleeping girl here for reading and a nap. I love her little characters. And then I think I'm going to finally pull in this box. Is it going to fit? I'm just going to make it fit right here. So I just think these are so cute. And I'm going to do that right there. And then I pulled these um, TVs from Lilac and Paper. I'm going to do, oh, should I do it on the other side? No, it's going to be fine. I'm going to do that TV right there. So I'm just going to write Gilmore Girls and Puzzle in there. That's really cute. I like that. And I have been wanting to use that box. Okay. So that is it for Thursday. Moving on to Friday. First thing Friday morning, I'm going to use my last work label. I think I really have liked using these. Pretty cute, and it's just something I always have left over from her kits. So I'm going to do another Maru here for working. And then I did some cleaning, so I'm going to use an icon and then I also pulled these foiled scripts from Scribble Prints Co. So let's see. That's okay. I'm just going to do a label with the script in it. You have to tell me if I'm just like completely missing it. I really thought she had like spray bottle icons. Anyways, I'm just going to do this label right here and then the tidy up script in that label. And that will, oh, I did not realize these were two different words. That scared me. I thought I ripped it. So this will be fine just in the label. So tidy up in hollow. And I just realized there are these little baby um, footprints that I want to go put here. All right, so after cleaning up some, I had a little bit of a YouTube binge. So let's see. Yeah, I'm just gonna use one of these icons. This is from the Crafty Banana. It's her little binge TVs, which I think are so stinking cute. So I'm going to do that right there for having a YouTube binge. And then I did take my pups on a walk. So I'm going to do another Once More With Love Munchkin walking the dog here for taking my pups on a walk that afternoon. And then I did some more filming. So I am going to do another flag and trim it down as well. A film script from Kinsey's Creations. Perfect, alrighty. And then I'm gonna do a half box, let's see. Let's do, let's do this patterned one. So I'm gonna do this half box here. And I had some ice cream, watched Gilmore Girls, and worked on the puzzle. So I pulled these foiled um, 
ice cream cones from Bodacious Prints. So I'm going to do that right there and then just write Gilmore Girls and Puzzle. And then my husband and I watched some Survivor this night. So I'm going to do another little thing for that. Let's do... That too much purple. How about slight blue? Yeah, I'll do that right there. So that is for watching more Survivor. We have just been loving watching old seasons of Survivor. I feel like we may be the only people in the world, but it's so fun. Alrighty. So that is it for Friday. All right, so moving on to Saturday. Saturday morning, I slept in quite a bit, which was nice. So I'm gonna do a strip of washi. I think let's do the purple here. And then I pulled a foiled sleep mask. This is actually from a freebie from Bodacious Prints in hollow foil. Alrighty, so, so that's for sleeping in Saturday. And then I had a YouTube binge this morning while I had my coffee. So I'm gonna do a label here. And then I pulled my YouTube binge script from Kinsey's Creations. Let's go right here in this label, perfect. And then I did some um, reading. I actually finished one book that I've been working on for a while and started a new one so I wanted to do one of these yes these square boxes let's do a slider color right here mm, it's gonna be a little big I really always want to use these more but once I get it straight that will be better I've got just a little bit of white space on the top and bottom okay and then here I am going to do um, this foiled book icon to the side right here but now I kind of want to do character since this is a big space let's see so I've got this reading girl oh yeah I like that so this is from Fox and Pip I'm just gonna do her right to the side of this book I mean this box she's Cuddled up with her book, so that is going to be doing um, some reading. And then I picked up some lunch for my husband and I from a local burger place called The Blind Pig. So I'm going to do a little thing for that. And then I went and had lunch. I mean, <laughs> after that, I went and met some of my friends that were in town, they had dinner. I just hung out with them since I had just had lunch. So I'm gonna do a label for that. And then there's a little heart icon. So I'm gonna do this heart icon for um, hanging out with my friends while they were in town. They moved to Colorado, so it was really nice to see them while they were in town. And then when I got home, I just watched some Gilmore Girls and worked on my puzzles. So I'm going to do this foiled TV right here. So that is for Gilmore Girls and the puzzle. And then I um, ordered pizza for dinner, which is my favorite. So I'm going to do a quarter box for pizza night. All right, and then for pizza night, I pulled these hollow scripts from Scribble Prints Co. So I'm just going to put pizza night right here in this quarter box. Perfect. All righty. So that was it for Saturday. Moving on to Sunday. Sunday morning, I had some coffee and watched YouTube. So I pulled these custom white coffee cups from the Crafty Banana. So that is for coffee and YouTube in the morning. And then I did some filming. So I'm going to mark that the same way I have the rest of the week with a flag and a film script. So let's do this blue one and I'm going to trim it down some. Do this flag here. Did not trim it very straight, but that'll be all right. And then do another film script. 
That is in hollow foil from Kinsey's Creations. Perfect. And then I did um, some grocery shopping, so I'm going to do an icon. This one right here. Because then I picked us up some lunch, and I want to fit a little thing up here. Yep, that works better. So grocery shopping and picking up lunch. And then I took my pups on a walk. So I am going to do this person here that looks like they're they're moving. So I'm going to do that right there for our walk. And then I had a bath this night and did some reading. So trying to decide if I have room for a half box. I think I do. So I'm going to do a half box here. And then I've got this bath night script in hollow from Scribble Prince Co. And then I'm going to do the book icons from the kit here. So that's for bath night and reading. And then this night I just had some ice cream and watched Gilmore Girls. So I'm going to do the same thing that I did on a Friday night and do this foiled ice cream cone from Bodacious Prince and then just write in Gilmore Girls. Perfect. Alrighty. So that is everything for the second half of the week. I'm going to go through and fill this out and I will be back in one minute. All right, here is my completed spread. I think the spread is absolutely gorgeous. I love the light winter colors and then all of the hollow. I'm going to try and get oh, some hollow to show up for you. It is just so, so pretty. And I think this was a perfect week. Um, one, for finding out our gender because it is like pink and blue themed and just pretty winter colors and all the foil. So very happy that this is my first spread in my Erin Conjure and I think it is so pretty. And it's always gonna be something I look back on because it's when we found out we were having a boy. So really, really happy with it. If you'd like to see close-ups of this spread, you can follow me on Instagram. I'm at Georgia Girl Plans. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Comment below and let me know if you have children, um, and if you're a boy mom, any tips? I mean, if you're a girl mom, just any tips for a new mom. If you don't have kids, let me know what you think of Hollow for the winter. I think it is so pretty. And yeah, I just really appreciate y'all watching. If you're not already, please subscribe to my channel. I do try and upload videos every single week. And I hope y'all enjoyed, and I will see you guys next time. Bye!